Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting a special series where we are talking about several important aspects of Comsol Multiphysics simulations. This is a miscellaneous series and it will help you to build several concepts which are frequently necessary for your simulations and post-processing of simulations. Today we will be talking about average properties. This is a part of post-processing. However, we will be talking about in-depth. So this, this particular topic will be helpful for you. So for the purpose of learning, we have actually simulated a very known phenomenon that is heat transfer in a solid block. So you already know this particular wall is kept at higher temperature and that's why heat is being flown from this particular portion to rest of the solid block. So you can see it is 400, the maximum yellow means 400 and as it is becoming reddish, it is going towards 298 Kelvin. I'll show you the temperature. Yeah, it is kept at 400, you can see. And this is at 293. This is means other three walls. Now we, what we want to see is, suppose, let us look at the picture carefully. So, from this particular picture, we can have a qualitative idea that heat is being flown. But what if I want to know that at this particular location, maybe at a particular point or at a particular surface, how exactly the temperature is varying over time. So, if you talk about a particular point, and then what will you get? You will get different value at different time steps. So, it will give you a kind of 2D data where one variable would be your time and the other variable would be your temperature. If I talk about a particular line here, in that case, you will be getting different temperature at different points and at each point, the temperature will be varying with time. So in order to represent it, in, represent it you may need a three-dimensional graphical presentation or you can do one thing you can have an average temperature across this line and then you can look at what is happening over a period of time so it will be more clear if we do some exercise here so initially let us take a particular line and take an average of that so how to get a particular line you have to go to the data set you have to right click on it and you have to do a cut line you have to take a cut line cut line means a line that is cutting at a certain point so I want to cut here say at y equal to 0.5 I am cutting a line from the plane so this is the line I can rename it I can rename it like y equal to 0 0.5 so this is the axis I can take another line just for the learning purpose say this is y equal to let's say well, let us take one at top one at bottom so let us take at 0.75 this is also 0.75 so this is the line let us rename it y equal to 0.75 so as you know i'll be taking another line i can make a duplicate of this if i duplicate it i can rename it say let us take another at 0.25 i'll be changing the values here yes at 0.25 so those are the coordinates basically you can understand this coordinate and that coordinate now we are taking at 0.25 so it will be coming somewhere here so if I plot you can see so I have taken three different lines now I want to calculate I want to see what's happening to the temperature at this line with respect to time so for that what I will be doing I will go to derived values this is very important for the post processing and right click on it so you can see there are several options in some other video, I'll talk about all the available options, but for the time being today, let us focus on average property, say line average. Obviously, we are looking at a line, so I'll be taking line average. 
so which line it is asking for so I can actually select one say y equal to 0.5 for the time being and then you will have an option that is evaluate so if you click on evaluate it will give you the values so yeah it is giving you can see here it is time axis and this is temperature axis so you have a value of temperature at different time steps so the time steps i will show you i have simulated it from 0 to 1 second with an interval of 0 0.01 second so it is giving you values at 0 0.01 interval if you see initially 0 then 0 0.01 then 0 0.02 and so on now if you want to plot it you, what you have to do is you have to just click here you can see there is an option table graph if you click here you can see this is the plot so you can actually see what is happening at that line initially the temperature was kept at 293 the initial temperature now because of the thermal gradient temperature gradient the thermal flow or heat flow starts and the heat flow makes the temperature at that particular line average temperature at that particular line going up with respect to time so initially it is keep going 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 and after some time it is becoming almost constant because after certain time there is no more heat i mean there are gradients but the thing is it has reached equilibrium and because of that thermal equilibrium there is no more change in temperature so i can show you now at y equal to 0.5 we have looked at now let us go to y equal to 0.75 and let's see what happens so what we can do is we can take another table graph and in this table graph we can actually change the values how to change it let us take separately it will be easier to understand so what we do is we go to result we right click on it we click on 1d object or right away we can take another line average value that is better so we go to line average another line average and let us take say y equal to 0 0.75 and then let us evaluate it so it is giving another data and then go to the line graph so you can see the nature has say, changed little bit i'll show you here say it was like this before and now at another line it is little bit different if you look at carefully it is going up to 310 temperature whereas in the other graph it is going up to 299.5 because of what if you look at the contour you can see as we are going away the temperature is becoming less and less and that's why at this particular line the average temperature is falling sorry average temperature is going growing up but the thing is it is it is it is becoming almost constant after certain time and that constant value is less than the constant value which is here so this is the thing now another thing i will tell you and that is your surface average so how to get surface average again if you go to derived values you right click on it you get an average surface average so let us take this surface you can take other surface as well for that you have to initially change in your geometry so that you can change different portions suppose you want to uh, select this particular circular portion here so in that case in the geometry section you have to have this provision so that you can choose that particular location but here we already i mean we only chose a particular square and that's why you can only choose square for the average property calculation now uh, it's done if i click on evaluate so it is calculating the average property average of entire surface this is surface average temperature what does it mean i will make another video on it so that you can understand the 
average properties whether it's a surface average volume average properly so let us plot it again so this is the temperature transient data of entire surface or average property of entire surface with respect to time so you can see the average temperature is coming from 293 and going up to 320 and the nature is almost same in all the cases with a slope difference so i guess this video was helpful today i'm stopping here and i request you to subscribe to my channel because we are uploading videos on console we are uploading videos on engineering mathematics and those topics will be very much helpful for your learning purpose please stay tuned thank you